Hello and welcome. Today we are going to draw a train using some simple shapes. So here are the shapes you're going to need. We're going to make a square. We're going to need a rectangle, which is like a square, but a bit longer. We will need some circles, so we can do a bigger circle. We can do a smaller circle. Oops, doesn't need to be perfect. And we can do a circle with another circle inside it. Right, we're going to make our steam train. So we're going to start with some circles. So I'm going to make some smaller circles at the front of my steam train. There are two smaller circles. Now I'm going to add one bigger circle next to it. There we go. And now we can join up the circle. So what I'll do is start a line across, jump over, across, over, across, over. There we go. Now we want to make this into a rectangle. So we'll draw a line up. We're going to go across all the way and then we're going to come down. There we go. Now let's add a cab on top. So we're going to go up from between the two circles. We're going to go across to make a square and come down. There's a square on top of our rectangle. We'll other, add another square inside, across and down and across to make our square. Now we can add another rectangle on top here for an engine. There we go. We need a chimney for the steam to come up, so we'll use another rectangle to make a chimney. There we go. And this one can have a little bit of a triangle without a point to make the top of the chimney. And let's give our steam engine a roof too. So we'll do a long rectangle. It's quite skinny. There we go. There's a roof. Now make some circles inside our circles and there's our steam engine. Now we'll need to pull some cars so let's make a line to connect the cars and I think these can be pulling freight so we're gonna make a circle, make another circle and we're going to make a rectangle here, line down, across, jump over the wheel, jump over the wheel, and come up. Let's connect that rectangle across and let's have one more. So another line to connect the next one. We'll make our circles down at the bottom here, one, Two, we'll connect it across, jump over, across, jump over, and take the line up and across to make our freight cars. And let's put some little circles inside the circles. And there we go, we've got a steam train. Just connect that. So it's joined up. If you want to, you can put some stuff inside the freight cards. You can colour it whatever colours you like. You can add your details now to your steam train.
This time we will make a passenger train and we're going to do this with a diesel engine. So we're going to start again with some wheels but this time they're going to be half wheels. So let's start with a rectangle on the bottom of our engine and we're going to make half circles underneath it. There's a half circle, half circle, half circle, semicircles. And a little, little curve inside there, like a little tiny moon shape. Now we're going to go up and we're going to curve the edge of our rectangle here. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to carry on up. And we're going to curve over and go across and then come down for the back of our diesel engine. This one's also going to need a window. So we're going to go across, across and we can curve that a little bit. Let's give it a bumper. Do a little bumper there and let's give it some little lines for vents at the front. There we go, there's our diesel engine and now we need to pull a passenger carriage. So we're going to do a little bit of a curve on our rectangle and we can do a nice long rectangle to fit in lots of passengers nice long rectangle, give it a little bit of a curve and come down and now we can put some windows inside so let's add some squares here, squares or rectangles it's up to you what shape you make your windows we've got to remember a door so passengers can get in so let's put that at the end of the carriage here and add some more windows another one there and I think we'll fit one more there we go and our passenger car needs some wheels as well so let's do some circles underneath we'll put two there and we'll put two at the other end in the circles at the side and we'll do some kind of a rectangle to keep connect all that up and there we go we've got a diesel passenger train and of course you can decorate this color it however you like